Welcome to Small Talk Daily for February 27, 2009. This morning I'd like to go through doing a development build script for Object Studio, similar to what I've done for VisualWorks. There are a few differences because there are different ways of doing some things in Object Studio. For instance, if you're bringing in something like the Olay support or the ODBC support or the support for another specific database, you do this through this application definition stream load application, which in Object Studio terms, if you go to the launcher, is the load application pick in the launcher and then you just tell it to load the named component. If you're going to load parcels, and here I don't really need runtime packager, I'm just doing this to show you how this works, you use load parcel from just like you would in VisualWorks. The difference is you have to fully namespace this because since we're running Object Studio, in this script it's going to think everything is in the Object Studio namespace unless you tell it otherwise. Then there's this thing called a Smalltalk archive, which when you publish things out to disk in Object Studio, instead of a straight parcel, you get a Smalltalk archive object, which is just a slightly different way of doing this, and there are reasons for that I'm not going to get into this morning. But in any case, I need to specify the full path to it. It's a .store file, and you use the store interface, pundle model load small talk archive from, which is very similar to load parcel from. Finally, if you want to save your development image, you just save this exactly the same way you normally would with object memory, perm save as here. I don't really need perm save. I was in the process of building a build script for a deployment, and that's why I have perm save, but leaving that aside, I then go ahead and save this out. Now notice I'm putting it into the same place that stuff normally goes for Object Studio. So let's close that, and now let's bring this window into view. And I'm going to run this right off the command line. And the command line needs a little explanation. I have my VM here, and that's quoted because this has spaces in it. Just like in Unix, you'd use a backslash. In Windows, you use quotes for the entire piece of the command line that has spaces. Then I have my image. And then finally I have this minus O studio, which is important because that makes sure that any command line arguments that follow that will be interpreted by Object Studio, as opposed to the base VisualWorks runtime, which is not what you want. And then minus S and the script, and that's important because, again, that's how the script gets loaded. So let's go ahead and run that. This is going to take a moment to come up. And there it is. Notice a couple of things happened. The workspace came up because that's how Object Studio runs scripts. It brings up the workspace and it executes. And over here, I have my Olay interface being loaded the same way as if I had pulled down that menu pick. So this script is proceeding. Let me pause this because it's going to take a while to both bring in the Olay stuff, then my stuff, and then finally save the image. So now you can see it's completed. And you'll notice that just as if I had done this using some of the menu picks, like file load application, I've got this sitting here in the launcher. So I can double click it. And there's the little demo application I've been working on for the last little while here in Object Studio. And if I hit the play button, the current pick and over here starts playing. So if I bring up iTunes, you'll see there it is. So let's go ahead and pause that. You can see it's playing with that. If I hit pause, you see it pauses. So my application works. I've successfully done my build script and brought everything up. Let's quit this. Let's quit this. Now just to make sure that there's no funny business going on, let's go ahead and run the application directly from the command line. I'm going to go back in my history a little bit because I've done this here. So there's my command line. I have just the new image specified down here, ostdemo.im, which if you looked at my script, that's what I saved it as. And let's run that. And there it is, again, with my workspace up because that's how I saved it. And here I have my application, which again, I can run. So that's about it for today. I've demonstrated how to go from a base Object Studio image to a working image that you can then get back to your development with. So we'll leave it there for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.